I was reading the news. Ugh, that's it, a bad decision. There was a headline that said, scientists have discovered the extinction date for all life on Earth. Oh, nice. Yeah. So I, I clicked on it. 250 million years from now. I was a little disappointed, but the good thing is now we know when Keith Richards is going to die. That's true. Yeah. Just Hey, welcome back to our stupid direction of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more juicy content. <coughs> Thank you, Rick. You can follow us on the subscribe like button. Um, <coughs> reminded me of a joke about Cinderella. Um, what? You don't know that joke? No. What did Cinderella do when she got to the ball? <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord. And by the way, if you're watching this 249 million years from now, we are so, so sorry. <laughs> and hi, Keith. Uh, today we got a um, behind the scenes video or making video, not behind the scenes. A uh, making of Corbin Miles. Is this going to be us watching your uh, meep yeah. and your peep doing the doo doo? Salumala, the Battle of Bras. Uh, no. Yeah, the making of the, no. Uh, it's not a legit making, but it's a bunch of behind the scenes footage of, of the fight the, of the theater fight. Frickin' a. Um, unfortunately, it's not what we want in terms of. Them That's going okay. Over, but we're gonna even see a little bit is fine. Behind the scenes yeah. stuff. If you haven't seen our review of that, uh, go watch that film review. If you haven't seen that film, go watch the film. It's go a great watch film. that film. Um, very much looking forward yep. to this. Um, let's just get into it. The chaos. <laughs> Look at all the wires. Ah, nice. No, they did not. They droned it? Nice. I would have loved it, like, if they need to make it, like, or maybe they have an actual, like, behind the scenes, because it was so much great cinematography and camera work done in this film and uh, stunt choreography. And stunt work, yeah. Um, especially the uh, theater fight scene. One of the best fight scenes I've seen in all of Indian cinema. Agreed. Ever. Agreed. Um, it it's was, legendary. It's one of those things that you, you just don't forget. Yeah. Um, and this was great. It looked like it was just taken from people on the production team who were shooting stuff with their phone and they just put it all together. Yeah, I love <clears throat> those steady... <laughs> Sorry. Those steady rigs that they have for cameras now yeah. are kind of insane. Yeah. And those are just handheld ones. Yeah. Um, like, the ones that I, I've seen a lot are, like, they're rigged up. They're yeah, they're, they're, they're doing those more. It makes sense. I mean, versus the stabilizer that you wear when you're harnessed in. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, you, you have so much more mobility and it's so much easier on, on your f cinematographer 
to have to do it that way. Yeah, the uh, and it's one of the best things. I don't. Obviously, most people have never been on a set before. Um, I, that's yeah. fair to say, right? Fair to say. Um, unless you are in the industry, unless you're in the industry, because uh, it's they're private sets. You won't yeah. get let on set. Um, but most people have never been on a set, so they don't get to see all the intricate workings. But camera work and DPs are some of my favorite people to watch. Yeah, it's, it's why such a collaborative thing, especially with the director, that they have to come up with. Of yeah, what shot? Well, one look the best convey what i want to convey and also um be the coolest because they're there to do art and so they want to push the boundaries especially the dps want to push the boundaries and make the cool shot and a lot of times we've said it many times that the most contentious relationship on a set is the dp and the director and they're actually usually pretty close as well but in terms of if in terms of like on set disagreements it's usually those two that will disagree on things first right (laughs) and then next will be the producers and the director yes Yes. (laughs) with the Uh, writers off to the side going guys guys (laughs) and then it's probably actor and actor probably after that but But, yeah and it does again as always one of my favorite things about this especially for those who have never seen what happens on a set is you see not just the collaborative nature of the work and the magic yeah but how physically demanding the work of a cinematographer is whether you're the DOP or you're just another cinematographer on team or you're just there being the person who's assisting the cinematographers, it's the it's the most physical job aside from the stunt people yeah. is, is cinematographers, depending upon the film. Yeah. But a lot of the times, the most physically demanding job on set, grips and lighting, they have a, theirs is tough too, but it's not as demanding. They, they get to do what they do and then stop when yeah. you film. Yeah. The cinematographers are the ones who are moving and grooving, and they've got equipment. They've got to navigate. They're walking backwards. They've got to lie down. They've got to be harnessed. They've got, especially in something like this that's so chaotic, and you yeah. have so many moving parts. Organized chaos. Like you saw the in this, like there were um, assistants, whoever it was, throwing paper. Yeah. So <laughs> constantly, so there'd be stuff in the air, um, and so like <laughs> it just looks like chaos as it should yeah that's organized what chaos they were wanting to convey but i love like when they're up on wires they're <clears throat> you see like them going through the crowds because it's such choreo- um choreographed stunt um and like uh, choreography <laughs> such um choreographed stuff going on in the scene uh because fight scenes are basically just dance scenes well and the other thing that was just boggling to the mind in a sequence <laughs> that complex is how much the director and the cinematographer are thinking about what they need to do as far as shot capturing to give the editor what they need for continuity. Yep. Especially if you don't storyboard it beforehand, which a lot of productions don't have the luxury to storyboard. So they go in with a concept and then they're just designing shots either the day before or on the day. And you've really got to be thorough. Otherwise, you find yourself with stuff in the editing room going, damn it. How do we make it work? It doesn't have any flow. Yeah. It's amazing. Um, and then like them having drone work on, on certain things. I love a good camera roll. Yeah. The thing about the drone that was interesting is you expect the drone shots to replicate and, you know, no one has to do helicopter shots anymore. That looked like it was a drone shot using a phone. Might at, have been. At knee level on a street. It might have been. Yeah. It might have been. Um, phones take great. <laughs> they really do. They you, take... can shoot a, you can shoot a film on your phone. I think actually we haven't seen it yet. I think Vishal actually did that like earlier this year. Wouldn't surprise me. I think he had a short film that was sponsored by Apple, entirely shot on a phone. I think you're right. I remember hearing about that. I think I, I, I we never we haven't. And seen if it. I'm not mistaken, there's been a few horror films <clears throat> that were just shot, particularly looking like found footage that are just shot on phone. Yeah, like obviously cameras have. I mean, phones have great cameras now, especially yeah. the iPhone. And it is such. <sighs> it is such a. I mean. You know, playing in an orchestra is definitely a collaborative art form, but it's so organized. The most unorganized but organized collaborative art form in the world, it must be cinema. It must be cinema. Unless you include, unless you consider sports art (laughs) as well. Right. (laughs) Which, kind of, but I would just put them in sports. Yeah, I I consider that a a sports, but the, the... Which is an art. Of all the of all the art forms, 
the, the, the amount of collaboration that's required to come up with what many have called the small miracle of a good film is yeah, I don't think Incredible. there's a more collaborative art form no, than film. Not at all. There's some that are heavily collaborative, like dance and, and, and stuff like that, and or um, maybe different public. And like, the power that each particular, but you know, things, every, every little thing can be ruined by one of them not being good. If you don't have a good cinematographer, if you don't have a good editor, if you don't have a good score, if you don't have good lighting, if you don't have good post-production, if you don't have good writing. I mean, everybody has to be on top of their even game. Even in dance, there's just dancers choreographers right and whatever else right maybe a few other people <clears throat> that's a i mean look the at film the, if you, it's a big one you start with location it, it, it's, <laughs> it's why it's why you i love sitting on a big film and watching the credits roll i don't know how many times i showed that to the kids when we'd see a movie when they were little to just teach them on this is one of the beauties not just the collaborativeness of it but i'll see the, the all the names go up and, and say look at how many people got jobs because of this one movie. Look how many people got to work. Mm -hmm. It's a city. A, a freaking whole city got to work. It's amazing. Yeah, it's a beautiful art form. This is great. Um, this should have been sent to the Oscars. Uh, <laughs> um, I, actually, I don't know if this one was... It wouldn't have qualified. This was released in August of last year. August? Yeah. What about the other ones, like the um, Associates and the... I'd have to look. Case, um, the case. I actually have a list of the ones that I would have put down as my qualifiers. Um, because Kala was eligible as well. There we go. I don't um, think they considered it though. Okay, so Associates. You wanted to know the release date on Associates. Yeah. Um, that just missed qualification. And then what about November uh, 11th? Jaya Jaya Jaya. Uh, Jaya 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 Hey, just missed qualification. And October 28th. And the case one, the one we just did the watch along. Of. Yes. Um, wait, that might be toward the top. Uh, just missed it. Missed it. Okay. August. The majority of them. So, um, that a, a film that could, that sh that qualified was LJP's film. Yeah, yeah. I would have definitely sent that. I would have sent the Tamo one with the part one with the VJ. Yes, uh, uh, Vidotali part one. And then the that other. was absolutely that was a that was a twenty that was March of twenty twenty three. And then Kala is another one that I know would qualify that yes. I would have sent as well. Uh, where is it? That came out in December, so that would have definitely. Oh yeah, absolutely. But yeah, I mean, it's a, yeah, yeah. It's it's a strange one, but it sucks that all those films that I just mentioned I know. came out last year with RRR, which was the perfect thing to send because of the hype. Yeah, but but now having seen a bunch of those films, it would have made for a far more interesting conversation comparatively to a very worthy entry, which was Last Picture Show. I think it was. I it's just the only reason that would, was in question was because of, of RR. Exactly. Not because in terms of like... Not at In all. every other year, those films would have been much better sends than a Absolutely. commercial. Absolutely. But the fact that RR was so good and also yeah. had the hype it did here in America, yeah. it would have been a shoe in Yeah. It's mind-boggling to me that the LJP's film wasn't mind-boggling. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely insane. Um, but anyways... This is great. Let us know other behind the scenes videos we can react to. Let us know what the next Malayalam film that we should watch should be down below. Just